so as I had told you that I was going to show you how to do a multi textured wall like this in Magicard, that is what we want to do right now. So, what we're going to do is something very simple. I'm going to put the ground for plan or just work from the 3D. So, we'll go to options, then from options, go to complex profiles, then profile manager, then click on this plus sign here, and then click on new. Then actually you can name your profile. I want this to be exterior. Exterior wall. Wall like that. Then you'll actually have to delete this one. This is actually default for Archicad 26, the default profile for Archicad 26. But I'm actually going to go for a new shape. So I'm actually going to go for something. Say you have a wall that is 3000 millimeters high and 200 millimeters thick. And we actually have something uh, the first layer say it's actually from the bottom let's say it's 900 millimeters from the bottom so you will say 900 then just do a mark there just mark a point at that point like that then from this point I'm actually going to use the fill tool to fill each and every part so using this fill tool and the spacebar for the magic wand I'll just select inside and then just fill that part like that so I can go ahead and delete the lines I can just delete this line here because I don't need it anymore so what you're going to do is just select the fill that you've just created right now and you can see that it has automatically created a point here that so what you want to do is you want to give this part lower section here a different texture so we are going to select the edge then select this one here this tool here the custom edge settings then activate the surfaces texture then just change the texture from here say that is the one you want to be the stonework work this one this one here then click ok then the upper part you want it to be something like stucco so you just click on that and activate this one then change the color to say something white stucco white rough okay just like that and click on ok you can also change the color for this other side, the texture for this other side, like that. Let me change it to this. Say we want it to be gray, that stone granite gray, like that. Click OK. And here you can actually select the tool you want to use it with, either it's wall tool, beam tool, but since you are dealing with walls, you are just going to go with the wall tool, then click on save. And you can actually go ahead and close your profile once you've saved everything. So what you are going to do is go to design, then select the wall tool. Then under here, change it to this one. Then under the custom choose the one that you've just created I created one earlier but the one you created right now is this one the exterior wall that is what I'm going to go for that is the one I'll name my wall as so you can actually draw one just like this and see what you have in 3D I'll show you this is what you're actually having 
see the first layer is actually textured with the stonework and the second layer is actually textured with the stucco white color okay with that done I can go ahead and now show you how we can do a custom windowsill for the art window there <coughs> we are still going to use the same complex profile tool so go back to options complex profile but this time we are just going to add a new one then call it window seal okay so we'll actually have to draw a random shape so first we'll delete this so as i'd like to do mine just to draw the shape i want to do first i'm also solving a problem so let's say we have 150 millimeters So with the shape drawn, we are going to use the fill tool to fill this under the magic one. So you just select the fill tool and then hold down the space bar, then click inside the shape. Then for this one I'm going to use, I usually prefer to use the beam tool. So I'll usually select that, use the beam and then select that, then select save. Actually <coughs> override the surface for this one directly by just clicking on that shape there directly then clicking overriding the surface so change the color directly i want it to be something like stucco fine white quite fine that was the one i want then just click on save and close that so we are actually going to go back to the ground floor plan so let me just delete the one I had earlier so the ground floor plan let me check the height of the window the window is 1000 the seal position is at 900 so what you are going to do is using the beam tool and you can change it Make sure you are using this complex profile here because normally at default it's at this one the rectangular profile but we want to use the complex profile for this so this is what you go for then change this one now to the windowsill the one we just drawn right now then you can actually set the position here want the position to be at 750 750 that then okay so we can actually use the single geometry method not the chained one then draw it here let me just show that layer then let's see what you are going to have in 3d this is what you have right now so i think this actually looks great 